Hey guys, I want to show you how to make this effect using Photoshop. Uh, it's pretty neat, pretty simple, but it does take some steps, so let's get started. So we don't need text for this. I'm going to close this box. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete um, all of my layers here. And I can't delete that one. I'll delete all of these. And let me paste in my picture. Now I can delete that one. Okay. Starting with your picture, grab your layer, hit Control or Command J twice, making two copies. Uh, now select this bottom layer and hit Alt Delete. It's just going to make that black. Uh, I have a black background through there. Now let's just just to be sure if this was if this color was red over here and I hit Alt Delete, it would make it red. So first thing you have to do is is you can just hit D. D will be your default black color, and then you can go back over here and hit Alt Delete. We want that to be black. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to set our, our grid up. Now if you guys don't know where to find this, it's under Edit, Preferences, and um, Guides, Grid, and Slices. Um, and you're gonna, you want to make this a bright color. Before you figure out this grid line, let's first cancel this. Let's hit Control H. That will show your grid. Now I've already set mine to where I want it. Um, but if you want to go in here, go to guides, grids, and slices, and just play around with it, uh, uh, with uh, numbers here, okay, and, and how many subdivisions you want. Um, in fact, I'm going to make this a little bit easier to see. Should be red. Let's see, red. No, I think uh, black might be the easiest. Okay. So you make it to where it's easy to see, and it's this about this dimensions. You want it almost even as well. Um, for instance, my last square ends here. Vertically, it's not even, but that's okay. I have that little uh, uh, tiny bit there. That's okay. In fact, let me go to 428 and see if that's better. 431. It's pretty close. Let's go to 433. Okay, I like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with 433. Hit OK. Now when I'm on uh, this layer right here, I'm going to hit M, which is my rectangle marquee tool. And I'm going to hold and, and make sure you're on. First go up to view. Make sure that you're on snap. Okay, so make sure your snap is on and it's on selected to grid. That's important because we want to select straight to that grid to make these things equal. So first of all, just, just pull out about three boxes, then skip one. Now hold shift and do about three boxes. Skip one, hold shift. And do this all the way across. And there we go. Okay. Now from there, I want to go make a new layer mask. So I'll click this button down here. Now I need to uh, do the same process, but now vertically. So three boxes, hold shift, grab it. Three boxes, hold shift, grab it. Three boxes, hold shift, grab it. Three boxes, okay. Now I'm going to come up to this layer and do the same thing, make another um, layer mask. Now at this stage guys you're going to do you're going to use two shortcuts okay first you're going to uh, hold control or command and click that layer the, the the mask and it's going to grab just the uh, selection now you're going to hit alt control shift and click that mask and then you'll you should have this selected from there you want to go up to select and go to uh, I'm sorry uh, Save selection under select. You don't need to name it. Just hit OK. OK. Now from there, we need to hit Q to show what that's to, to, to quick view it. And then we're going to select our paint bucket tool, which is G. And we're going to do starting at the second square up here. Just make this pattern like a checkered board. You're going to make this pattern. And now we're going to go back in a second and do the same thing with every other square that's not selected. From there, hit Q again, go back to your selection tool, and when you're on this layer, hit Control J. That's gonna break that off. If you wanna see what that looks like, we just have those uh, squares, okay, selected. Now, we're gonna go, um, instead of uh, doing the selection all the way again, one shortcut, if you go up to Channel, 
and you go to your alpha. Now I've I've done this a few times before I, the tutorial, so I have these here. I've saved them, um, and I'm going to show you how you can use those for later, which is pretty cool. But for now, just go here and hit Control and grab that. It's going to reselect that selection. Go back to your layers panel. Um, now make sure this layer is selected. Hit that Q again, and this time you're going to start in the top left corner and holding Shift again. You're just you're going to select all of these making the kind of reverse checkerboard from the one that we just made. Now that we have that selected, hit Q and do the same thing, Control J. So now you have your two layers selected. Uh, now you need to make these layer mask. That's right up here, uh, uh, I'm sorry, clipping mask. The hotkey is Alt Control G. So Alt Control G and you'll have that little layer. It's telling you it's gonna apply just to the layer below it, Alt Control G. Same thing. Now we can we can hide our grid um, just so we see what this looks like. I'll go ahead and hit Control H, hide that grid or Command H. Now let's make the um, outer glow. When you have this layer selected, the bottom one, and this is the values here, guys. Select it on multiply, opacity 50, uh, size 40, spread zero, noise zero, range 50%, jitter zero and make sure just a color is selected and that's multiply again. Hit OK. Now if we want to apply this exact same effect to another layer, you can come up here, hold Alt and drag that, which is really convenient. And lastly, we can, if you want, you can um, apply a texture to this to make it look pretty cool. Um, the first thing I want you to do is hit Control Alt Shift E. That's powerful. So just so you know what that did, it created a picture of what you have what you're looking at which is really powerful you know you can use that in a lot of ways um, from there go up to filter filter gallery and go to texture and texturizer scaling 100 percent relief 3 go to burlap you could do brick you could do uh, canvas whatever you uh, want to do there in fact let's check out sandstone let's try that one and you have your picture so I hope this guys has blessed you guys. I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, showing how we can now use those cool alpha channels that we created. We can use them to make cool, quick pictures. So make sure to watch the next video after this one. Blessings.